Andy West with George Zidek at the third, fourth playoff game between Cesc Moscow and Real Madrid. Who's going to come out on top this one, George? We've got to talk about the motivation. These two teams obviously would prefer to be playing in the final. How do they approach this game mentally? Well, it's not easy, Andy. They lost on, on Friday, but I think the message is clear. No team wants to leave here with two defeats. They have to return home and they have to still play in the local championship. So the motivation for the players is not to lose twice here in Istanbul. And when we look at this game, Ceska and Real Madrid, two high-powered offences, the top two scoring teams in the league this season, we could be in for a high-scoring game. Oh, absolutely. I think this makes me very hopeful that this could be a very fun game to watch for the fans because you got number one offence against number two offence. So I'm looking for the players to get going there offensively. And if you want my prediction, I think who's going to play better defence got an excellent chance to win this game. Never mind about defence, let's talk more about the offence and the guards in particular, the backcourts, both teams, the newly crowned league MVP, Sergio Yule on one side, the man he's just replaced in that status is on the other side with Nando De Colo, Milos Teodosic, Luka Doncic, a lot of stars in the backcourt. Well, they got, you got a lot of guards, as you just mentioned, you got three, four guards deep on both sides and I think it's going to be key to the game. Who gets the guards going fast? Who's going to get involved more? But are they going to involve the big guys underneath the basket as well? In both semifinals, I thought that the front lines of both teams, Cesca and Real Madrid, were slacking off a little bit. So maybe this will be also another key to the game. OK, thank you, George. Looking forward to this game. Could be a fun one. Real Madrid against Cesca Moscow coming up.